Good evening, and welcome to Resonance 104.4 FM. You're listening to Luscombe's Choice, and this evening we will be listening to Trout Mask Replica, the third studio album by Captain Beefheart and his magic band. Released in June of 1969, the album was produced by Frank Zappa and released on Zappa's Straight Records imprint. It draws on a wide array of influences, including blues, free jazz, American folk, and employs surreal and elliptical wordplay to profound and devastating effect. I found the music initially incomprehensible, but one early New Year's morning, deranged with exhaustion and alcohol, something clicked, and I listened with a mixture of awe and fascination for the full 79 minutes. Then, for a brief period, all other music was ruined for me. Whilst I have yet to repeat this profound experience, I nonetheless take something different and meaningful from Trout Mask Replica each time I listen to it. Today is Friday the 13th, and I have been asked to include something ghoulish in this essay, and I think a tale of the process of writing and rehearsing this album should fit the bill quite nicely. The cult-like conditions in which the band lived during the eight months in which this album was developed are well documented, not least by long-term magic band drummer John Drumbo French. He claims, and I quote, When I wanted the band to practice, Don would get them together to watch television, because Don was a real strong one for getting everyone to do what he wanted to do. If he wanted to write for piano, he'd get everyone to sit and watch him play the piano. He'd make everyone sit and write down lyrics for him for hours on end. And then there were these brainwashing sessions, where he'd decide someone in the band was public enemy number one. He'd centre in on them for two or three days, feed them coffee and not let them sleep, until their sense of deprivation was such that they'd say, I'll do anything you say. It is possible that French has uh, exaggerated these stories slightly. Although, a friend of the band who once visited the house described the scene as Manson-esque. But whilst Don Van Vliet had a reputation for bullying his musicians, John Peel, in his excellent documentary of Beefheart's career, described him as one of rock's great innocents, and I think the music on this album certainly bears this out. So, let us begin with three songs from the first side of the first record of this double album, Frownland, Dachau Blues, and Moonlight on Vermont. My smile is stuck, I cannot go back to your frown land. My spear's made up of the ocean and the sky. And the sun in the moon in all my can see I cannot go back to your land of gloom where black jagged shadows remind me of the coming of your doom I want my whole take my hand and come with me too late for you, it is not too late for me to find my home. Where man can stand by another man without an ego flying, with no man lying, and no one dying by an earthly hand. Let the devil burn in the beggar land And the little girls that live in those old worlds Take my kind hand My smile is stuck I cannot go back to your frown land I cannot go back to your frown land Dag how Dark Owl Blues of Poetry. Dark Owl Blues, Dark Owl Blues, those are cold Jews. Still crying about the burning back in World War II. One mad man, six million blues. Down in Dark Owl Blues, down in Dark Owl Blues. 
The world can't forget that misery And the young ones now begging the old ones please To stop being mad men For they have to tell their children About the burnings back in World War III Snow, wall to rain, death and showers and skeletons dancing and screaming and dying in the ovens, coughing smoke and dying by the dozens down, 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 down. Three little children with doves on their shoulders, the eyes roll back in ecstasy, crying, please, old man, stop this misery. They're counting out the devil with two fingers on their hands, begging the Lord, don't let the third one land on World War Three. On World War Three. Close the doors, and uh, they all get shot and set a rush out the grass. And nothing happened. They couldn't get the rats to move, see? So they got one fellow down there. He said, uh, uh, he, he stammered. You know, and he got excited. He couldn't talk at all. So they got him down there, and uh, Walls said, I'll get him out of there. And he took the sticks and beat them. It's hard to get them out of there. And they started shooting from all directions. And old Wall thought he could get Affected everybody, even Mrs. Wooden Wellis, bleeding her nitty, even life boy floating with his little pistol showing and his little pistol toting. Well, that goes to show you what a moon can do. No more preach from Tuesday to Friday. Everybody's gone. High society. Hope lost his head and got off on alligators. Somebody's leaving peanuts on the cabins for a white elephant. Escape from zoo with love Goes to show what a moon can do Moonlight on the mark Did it for life, boy, and it did it to you, and it did it to Zoo, and it can do it for me, and it can do it for you. Moonlight on the mark. Give me that. Give me that old time religion. Don't give me no affliction. That old time religion is good enough for me. That's good enough for you. Well, come out to show them. Come out to show them. Come out to show them. Come out to show them, come out to show them, 
Come out to show them. Come out to show them. Get that old time.